Sure. You're well, all safe, by the way. One last so. question. So I forgot. It was sent a while ago, and I forgot. Can you talk about the dynamic of um, men and women shaking hands with one another? You know... Okay. <laughs> Hardest question of the night. <laughs> the issue, the issue, the illa in 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 Sharia is fitna, right? That is 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 sexual enticement. We have no. The only report that we have is when the Prophet received the bayah from women that he put his hand in water and they would put hand, their hand in water. But, and this is a very big but, there is also a report, the same hadith report, that he actually shook hands. So, it's a report that the Wahhabis, you know, buried. <laughs> there is a, it was a, it was a cause for a fight at Azhar <laughs> when we had one of give his commentary on that shaking hands report because the, the the students of the the, the Wahhabi students interrupted the Holocaust and and, and wanted the the, the, the Sheikh to, to shut up and it was it was uh, it just stuck in my in my memory but then the other thing is the practice of putting your hands in water in in receiving a covenant is well documented in Arabia men and women so even if it's true, it doesn't mean anything. So we go back, so where does it go back to? It goes back to the issue of fitna, the sexual enticement. If you are sexually in, aroused by a sheikh, then don't shake. <laughs> I mean, I can tell you this. There are shafi's, and as I said, I am a shafi, that have erroneously said that if you touch a woman, even if there is no sexual arousal, that, that negates your wudu. Erroneously, because they relied on evidence on a hadith that Aisha has rebutted. And, and, and a hadith from Abu Huraira that Aisha has rebutted. And the, the, it's a split issue in the Shafi school. And the minority view is correct. The Malikis, the Hanafis have rejected it. The Hanbalis are obsessed with sex. The Hanbalis are, are just in every issue. Where women are concerned, they think <laughs> sexual arousal is behind every corner. I don't, you know, but that's the older Hanbali. I mean, sorry, that, that's the newer Hanbalis because Ibn Qudama wasn't. I mean, Ibn Qudama was, was, was actually quite sophisticated on the issue of, of, uh, of touching. He, uh, he said that the illa is the fitna and that's it. And left it at that. I know, I'll tell you a story of, uh, I saw my mother uh, do with the, my mother was a, a health, mental health worker and she was the head of the, of the department and as you got, as you know, she was the first woman to drive in Kuwait, her license number, the, the first woman to ever drive in Kuwait. She taught my father how to drive and Back then, Kuwaitis was actually stand and like watch the marvel of a woman driving a car, and then she drove a black <laughs> Vox. Um, so we were kids, and you know we're from a, a village in Egypt called Nikla Naira. And in Nikla Naira, it's quite common when people shake hands, they would raise the their their uh, their garb like that and like co the cover. And she has the the garb covered. So during the the and it's this is a cultural practice. It just doesn't mean anything. It actually means sort of respect. It doesn't mean that I'm aroused. It means I respect you. And it, uh, so during the the eighties when during the late seventies when when there are sort of the influx of Wahhabism. So they got into a, a lot of Egyptians started getting into the habit of when they try, when you, ex, when you extend hands, they say, Mutwabdi means I, I have wudu and I don't want to negate my wudu by shaking your hands, right? So 
we were, I don't remember where, but we were somewhere, and my mother, my mother was greeting uh, this guy, I think he was a patient, and she extended her hand, and he said, but what be, and didn't extend her, his hand. I never forgot her response. She said, well, I am worth re redoing your budu. <laughs> May Allah bless her soul. It just, it stunned him and it, it, it just remembered it forever.